Ready when you are. Okay. So we're reporting live from Kaiser, Oregon, here at uh, Volcano Stadium with, with Tom Trevor, Horn Manager of the Stadium Kaiser Volcanoes. So Tom, thanks for doing this. Just want to ask you, um, you know, this is a pretty good ballpark at Volcano Stadium. You know, what can you tell us about, uh, about this park? It's a nice park to hit in. Right. Probably the best homer park in the league when you consider short ports in the left and wind blowing out the right. And then your big first baseman took care of center field, so it's pretty. It's a good homer park, and we haven't hit any homers, so that's why we got one of the problems with that. But it's a, you know, it's a good location to win the league. We got Eugene to the south, we got you guys to the north, and the, the, the trip across the outside of Boise is not too bad. So it's a it's good spot, a good, good community. Good, uh, awesome. Doesn't match up to the population of Vancouver, but a uh, nice community. Oh, perfect. And uh, you guys won a championship in 2009, I believe, uh, here in Kaiser. And uh, you also won a championship in 85 with the PCL uh, Vancouver Canadiens. Uh, well, would you rank those two moments as among the best in your managerial career so far? Well, they're the highlights, the minor league highlights. I, I think, you know, in my career, by getting to the big leagues as a coach was a, was a big deal. I did not play in the major leagues. And, and then I uh, ended up managing the big leagues with, without uh, having played there. Or, had any kind of a, what you call tremendous major league credibility, and then stick around for a few years and get was I mean, overall, that's that's the biggest stuff. But certainly championships, you know, and the memories you have with the players we had here. We we lost to Spokane in 08, tough, and we came back in 09 and won it. All those kids were good kids, and, and you know, in Vancouver, the key thing there was a, a lot of those players we won with there ended up be managing in '87, and we had a good year in Milwaukee. So that's that's fun to, to be part of that development. You know, having there to win, and then having the big leagues too. And now to see a guy like Dale Swain who played you know, in Vancouver that year, now managing the Cubs. That's 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 the great stuff. See, see your players go on and succeed, even if it's a different organization. You like to, you like to see guys that you have to do well. Awesome. Now, for final question, Tom. In the big leagues, you also mentioned guys like Molitor and Yount. Um, Sosa, Sandberg. Uh, if you had to pick one player, which would you say would be you know, the greatest player that you ever managed? Well, offensively, uh, it, it was Muller. Uh, he, he had an intuitive ability with uh, with the game. He was able to pre-play situations, and he was ready. For, he'd come into this park here, and he'd be looking for a wild pitch to score from second base because of all the room back there. I mean, he was he was he was tremendously intelligent. Unfortunately, he got hurt a little bit with his arm and couldn't play a position, but he could play short, second, first, third, outfield. He could play anywhere before he hurt his arm. So, but offensively, he was very gifted. And, and then defensively, I mean, Yount you know, was, was an all-star MVP at shortstop and an all-star MVP at the center field. So he's pretty hard to beat that, too. And Sosa, you know, my Sosa, Sosa was a tremendous worker. Uh, you know, he got kind of into that question about what he was taking, what he was doing and all that, but I'll tell you what, after every game he was he was working really hard after the game to get stronger and bigger and he was a little skinny guy when he signed, you know, and he really, uh, he, he was hard working, dedicated, he he had a great drive to succeed and, and the success was great and unfortunately now we're into that, did he take, did he not take, what is this all about, when in, when in fact every generation's got some kind of substance that supposedly helped him, whether you're talking about days, uh, amphetamines, and Babe Ruth theory, you can get cocaine at the drugstore if you're constipated. So you know what I mean? There's all, there's all kinds of different stuff going on. So I think it's, it's unfair to, to, to really get excited uh, the way we are, so puritanical and so judgmental of uh, supposedly performance-enhancing drugs, because who doesn't take them? I mean, you talk about Viagra or Cialis, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I mean, what's more performance enhancing than that? And those same guys that are taking that are going, oh, those records shouldn't count because of this and that. Well, then your records shouldn't count as long as you're set. So, you know, Fantastic. we can be quite puritanical. But a pleasure to be with you, and hello to everybody in Vancouver. Uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, pleasure to do this interview. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.